Hi, Rich Pickett with Personal Wings. Gonna show you another quick tip of how to do some simple upgrades on your airplane. Uh, one of the cool features of some of the newest technology is LED light replacements for all sorts of lights in your airplane. So what we're gonna show you today is a simple upgrade on the nav lights. So what I've done here is I have uh, some LED nav lights, got these from Aircraft Spruce. In fact, they have a nice kit of three lights that you can buy for about $65, pretty cool. Here's the lights here. Ta -da. Now they look clear, but these lights are actually colored when they're illuminated. So what we'll do is we will take off the colored lens on the position lights on the wingtips and we'll put a clear lens on it. So the mean time between failure of most LEDs is around 50,000 hours. Probably not gonna do that much night flying. And, uh, and they put out a good, a good amount of light and they use less power. So you have a lot of options to do LED upgrades. Uh, and that is, uh, Whelan offers a whole set. These uh, in particular in here, you may need to have your local A&P sign off on the installation, but that's always a good idea anyway. Or you can just hand them to them and say, hey, go for it. So what we've done here, you can see our light, our position light, we've got our green light. Now my lens was a little bit dirty. So what I do whenever I get a chance of taking off lenses, whether they're landing lights, taxi lights, et cetera, on any of the planes, Cirrus and so forth. Right now we're on our 206 is I clean them. One of the best compounds I found to clean them is a 3M, um, basically it's perfected. This bottle will last you a long time. This works great. Pull, I pulled off the lens, used a little microfiber uh, cloth and cleaned it on the inside and outside. And you can see they're just sparkly clean. So I do that right from the beginning. So now we're gonna go through the simple process of replacing. First, we'll make sure of course the power's off just so we don't have any issues. So we're gonna turn off the power on our nav lights here and then we're going to replace them. So I've already loosened the screws, obviously, so don't waste your time just with me taking off the screws. Uh, whenever I'm taking off a lens, especially if you're doing anything on the wingtip where the light lens may drop, I always put my hand underneath it just in case, especially if you want to clean like strobe light lenses and so forth. I already have LED strobes on, so that's not an issue. So I've got this over here. So really simple. Ooh, ooh wow, is that hot? Woo, you gotta be careful. So we're gonna let that cool down just a little bit before we change it. Now this is another advantage of the LEDs. These will not be hot. So we're gonna let that cool down. Might take a little bit longer than that. And then uh, we'll take off that lens. I guess I left it on too long to demonstrate that. We took the opportunity while it was cooling down to go to the FBO and get a cookie. Important thing, snacks. So now that it's cooled down, after I took care of my second degree burn from the lens, should have known better than that. Again, whenever you're doing a light like this, I always kind of cradle underneath it. Even though we're not gonna use that lens again, you could always use it as a spare for your friends who don't have LEDs or something, right? Or trade it in for something at your local shop. Each one of these, about a, each one of these little lenses is about the cost of a quart of oil. So maybe trade in for a little of that. Okay. So come in here, now watch, as this comes out, see how that comes off? That's all it is, it's just a semi-circular lens. So that's what it is. Polycarbonate glass to paint upon the design. It has the gasket, gasket's probably okay, but I always replace gasket at the same time. So I just pop that up on top of the wing right now. And then this light comes out. Now this is just the socket, right? And so these, just kind of, just a, probably a, Tenth of a turn, eighth of a turn, that's the light. Bingo. And uh, it's good. So warm. But uh, you can always use it as an emergency spare. Keep in the back of your plane. At least you'll have a light. Keep that in the lens if you want to, just in case. So these are pretty cool. Now, when you look at them, it's hard to see, but see the pins? One's higher than the other one, right? So if you go push it in, go like, hey, this doesn't work just turn it around 180 degrees. So if I push it in like here, and then uh, there it is. That's how easy it is. I always kind of jiggle it a little bit, make sure it's in there tight. All right, got this in here like this. We could turn it on and test it. This socket won't go anywhere. Now I've got the lens, the brand new lens. As I said, since those LEDs are colored already, Clear lens. This is a polycarbonate lens, so it's kind of cool. If you drop it, it's nothing going to happen. So I, as I said, I've got an extra gasket. They're only a three or four bucks. So shop around, you can get some uh, di different kind of prices for the lenses. 
um, and for the gaskets. You can see the uh, lens price anywhere from like 40 bucks to crazy amounts on top of that. Um, so I've seen these gaskets be $15, I've seen them be three bucks. Okay, Let's see if this fits on, I'm gonna get this on here first. Sometimes a little tricky to get that gasket on there so that it stays put. Yeah, it's a real small gasket. Sit back on there. Kind of line that. Sometimes it's better easier just to put that on the. There you go, and then put this guy on there. Oops, I don't have it just right. Looks like that's going to work. Yep, I think that's going to work. Um, then this goes back on, right? It's pretty easy. So wait a minute, that's the wrong way. Of course it's the wrong way because the flat edge goes aft. Bingo, let's put it like that. These aren't under a lot of tension, so you don't have to tighten any of these screws, especially whenever you've got glass or plastic or you're on the lens itself. So the trickiest spot is, the trickiest thing is just finding out how to get this thing in line. Here it is. Again, I'm supporting this on the bottom. Just snug, just enough so you have tension so it's not gonna come off. I lift it up a little bit, tighten that. It's pretty secure. Then we'll put the lens back on. So uh, we'll see how this one fits. We're just gonna, right now we're just gonna put it in place and I'll tighten it later. So you don't have to sit here and watch it tightening all the screws, but let's, uh, and also I also just do that to make sure it works. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna take it off. Let's so get that done. Apply power. Bingo. Pretty easy. Takes a few minutes to go do it, to put it on, polish it. Maybe you can do the whole thing, getting the ladder and everything else, maybe 15 minutes, but look at the, look at that, how bright that is. I mean, even, wow. I mean, I can tell the difference uh, just visually looking. I mean, that's great. Look at that, especially right here. Boy, that thing is just so bright. The other ones were pretty decent before, but that's great. So it, it's a nice safety enhancement. It'll last longer than the regular lights. And uh, it's just a pretty inexpensive upgrade for your plane. So I also have it on the tail. You can see the tail light. We've replaced that. And then if you walk around, then you'll, then you'll see the other position light. So I Tigre our son is showing you the rest. I'm just going to put the rest of the screws in. And as I'm finishing up, just to remind you, right, always check with your a &P in case you have a question, whether you need their sign-off, supervision, et cetera, when you're replacing some of the components. Uh, the FARs generally let pilots replace lights, oil changes, a number of things, right, seat belts, et cetera, um, interior, even do some painting, except for uh, balance surfaces and things like that. So. I don't profess to be an expert on the legal issues of owner, operator, and pilot maintenance, but uh, check with your your local a and or read the regs yourself and figure it out. And the hardest part is finding out how to get the last screw in. There you go. So what I'll do sometimes if I am having problems doing one of the last screws, I think I should have done them before too, is I just before I tighten them all, I should have just lined them all first. So you see where I'm just, because then sometimes there's just enough play in the lens. Right, like this. So then I can do this, because this one last screw is a little tough to align. And the last thing you want to do, especially with plexiglass, right, or glass especially also as well, um, is putting any stress. 
There you go, see? There it was, made a huge difference. All I had to do is loosen those up. She could have just kept them loose before. Sort of like a, you know, doing lug nuts on a car when you're replacing a, a wheel. All right, you go around and kind of just do them enough to hold it, get everything aligned, and then you alternate the, the tension. Underneath these screws, I have nylon washers. If you don't have nylon washers underneath your screws on your lenses, it's a real simple thing to do. Um, I get them at Home Depot or Lowe's, and I just do that and tighten them just a little bit. It, 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 just, it helps distribute the stress, and I found it dramatically reduces the chance of any kind of cracking. Hey, thanks for watching another one of the Personal Wings video. We're gonna do a whole bunch more on how to take care of your airplane as well as we've got a lot of uh, videos out there for uh, everything from flying eclipses and the 206 to citations, vision jets, etc. All right, hope you like the video and subscribe. See you next time.